What's going on everybody and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. This will be kind of a, uh, an unexpected series and I'm not too good at the game so I'm probably not even gonna like play it all the way through because it can really go on for a long time. Uh, but Crusader Kings 2 is a very, very complicated game. Okay, that's kind of the first thing I want to say. Um, I have some hours into it. I think maybe like 80. Is that right? I don't know. Um, I do have some hours into it, but I'm just frankly not that good at it. So if you're watching series on the game to to see how other people play, other experts like yourself, then do not watch my videos. And if you're trying to learn stuff about the game, then maybe even then don't don't watch it. Um, just you know, watch it for entertainment and understand the fact that I'm pretty horrible at it. I played uh, some games where I mostly played as Ireland. Uh, and I think I've done some games as the Netherlands as well, where I tried to form them. It's a very interesting game. It's, a, I believe it's a grand strategy game, is what it's referred to as. Which is, um, just this very, very complicated game. And today, uh, a new DLC came out called Rajas of India. And, um, usually you had this part of the map, I believe. Just, you know, Europe and, and Spain all that, nor northern parts of Africa. And recently, well, this was actually around as well, I believe, but recently they added this part, which is India. I don't think, uh, maybe a little bit north as well, um, but they added India. And this uh, expansion is supposed to be all about India. So we will be playing as an Indian uh, civilization. I have no clue what this will entail, what's going to be in it, if it's going to be really hard to play. Um, but, you know, I figured I'd just make a video on it and check it out, and then you guys get to see it for yourselves a little bit before you maybe, uh, decide to get it or whatever, and you want to know what is actually added, then there you go. Um, I'll show you guys. And I believe it added the Alexiad, and the interesting characters are the Emperor of the, B uh, Byzantium, basically, the B Byzantine Empire, is that how you pronounce it? The Sultan of Rum. Where's Rum? Oh, here it is. Okay, so they're probably at war for some reason. Third Crusade. I think that was around earlier. I also got a code for uh, Sons of Abraham, which is another expansion today, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what was added when and where. Rise of the Hansa could be one of them. But I think that is the Republic. So it looks like there's not an, a, um, an actual sort of scenario for the... Uh, for the Indians. So I was actually thinking about picking one of these and the old gods looked like it was a little bit too big. There's not too many small pieces of land around. Stamford Bridge is better. When the Conqueror it's pretty much the same. The Alexiad is uh, a little bit bigger as well. This one's pretty good. The Third Crusade looks looks quite interesting for sure. The Latin Empire. This is that's way too big. I don't like I don't like the Gurid thing. It's a giant blob that can probably kill us easily. Uh, same here. It's just moved up a little bit. So I think the best would be to go with either the Third Crusade or the Latin Empire. So I think I'll go with the Third Crusade. And, you know, as I said, I'm horrible at the game. So I would prefer to play as a pretty easy, small... Um, not really small, but sort of... I don't want to play as them because that would make it a little bit too easy, I think. And I believe they're not Indian, they're probably um, Muslim in some way. So what I want to do is play as, I think this one looks pretty nice, it's Jungle Terrain. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, or this one. And I think the, the red one might be the easiest. I probably cannot pronounce most of the things that are in this, in this the, most of the names in here. But this is the Kalyani Chalukya. Chalukya, I've, I have no idea, I'm not Indian, I've never heard. Indian people speak Indian in a way where I was like, yep, I understand this, so I have no clue. Um, so yeah, Kalyani Chalukya, that's his kingdom. Maharaja Somesvara, the fourth. So I figured, you know, he's got a lot of vassals, he's got a pretty sweet piece of land. Um, let's start out with that, you know, let's see how it goes, and if I made a bad decision here, then please let me know what you think in the comments, because I, like I said, I don't really know too much about the, um, about the game, since I've mostly played as Ireland and whatnot, so Ireland is sort of like the easiest uh, thing to play as, because you can sort of unite all of Ireland, you know, it's just this one county or duchy, and it's like up to you to make Ireland into a real kingdom by taking over everything around you. Not necessarily by conquest, but we'll get into that later. 
And I saw the Kalyani Chalukya. Let's go with that. Is that actually... It's, that's just the name of the kingdom, but I believe it's also the guy's name. Oh, it's not. Maharaja is his actual... I think that's a title. That probably means something like king. Or it's like the equivalent of a king. Okay, whatever. Let's just uh, get into it. I will enable Iron Man mode. Which means I cannot manually save the game. If I fuck up, I fuck up. That's the end of it. And you can go with a random character, but I have no idea why I would want to do that. There's so many characters in this game. It is ridiculous. Uh, so let's start the game. That is one of my old games. Sure, let's start Iron Man. Let's do this thing. I just really want to see what is all like different about the um, the Rajas of India. And this is just a very unexpected kind of... Um... Oh boy. I may be a little bit in over my head. So this is our ruler. Uh, for those of you that have never played Crusader Kings 2, I probably shouldn't be making a tutorial out of this because first of all, I don't really know too much myself. And then also, this is a new expansion I know nothing about. So if any of you are, like, interested in this game, uh, let me know. Because I used to actually play it quite a, quite a bit. And I was also planning on um, basically doing a series on Ireland. Because it's sort of the easiest. It's sort of a tutorial type thing for myself and for others as well. Um, so this is our ruler. Uh, his heir is the Raja of Vengi. The hell's Vengi? Is that me? No, that's not me. I don't understand my relation to that guy. Do I have any... I'm not married. Shivist? That gives me a monthly prestige. Kshatriya? That's a, a cast. Oh, that's... Okay, that comes into it as well. Uh, second in a cast hierarchy. So I suppose like the holiest of the holiest are probably above that. I don't really know much about the cast system anymore. Uh, my ambition. So you can pick an ambition. I can amass wealth, which is probably going to be pretty easy right now. Become exalted to get married. That should probably be my first one, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. And uh, we should pick a suitable wife. Oh boy, none of them will actually get me anything. I can pick a two-year-old? Are you kidding me? They're all like 16. What the shit? Okay, Brahmin. Priest and scholars. Oh, that's the highest one. Vaisha, any a tr a third in the cast, okay. Uh, it's mine, I think. Brahmin. So Brahmin people are sort of considered to be a bit higher. I like this one. She's a great eminence, which makes her super good at diplomacy. Um, she's Hindu, and I am Hindu, so I'm pretty sure that will hit it off immediately. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick her then. She's got some okayish traits. She's greedy, cruel, just, and cynical. Which, there's, like, benefits to all of them, and there's, you know, stuff about them that's not so great. That's another brand... Uh, whatever, let's pick her. We're gonna get married. Um, oh boy. I would lose a lot of prestige if I married her. I could take someone concubine. Yeah, I'm gonna take her concubine. Let's do this. Um, so I suppose... I don't really need a wife as long as I get kids. So, let's see if this is how it works. Um, she's my concubine. Let's say I pick uh, her next. And then say, take concubine. And, uh, yep, that's her. Take. What? Oh, okay, I got one concubine. Maybe you can only have one. I mean, I'm not really sure. No, this is the, the first one I picked. She's lowborn. Uh, so, no heir of my dynasty, which means that if I die, I lose all my titles, all my lands, and everything. Uh, so let's get rid of that, because I'm I'm working on it. Title loss and succession, got it. I can create some titles. Rulers, I'm married. Nope, I know about that. I'm dealing with it. Uh, boy, a lot of ducal claims, for sure. I can create some titles. Uh, this one, but I can't afford it right now. So we're gonna actually have to speed up time and stuff like that. Crown authority. I think we should maybe up that a little bit. There we go. So I can actually raise some more armies and stuff like that. Technology, we got military. We could, we have a lot of dudes that are disposed like immediately. Which I'm not sure if that's really what I want. Um, let's see, holders of the wrong blah blah blah, okay. Create barons. So I'm not supposed to hold this, so what is the... Because it's a jungle or... 
County capital. Oh, it's not a castle. It's like a different thing. So what is that? Is it like a, a temple type situation? Let's take a look at my council. Um, I have my... Yeah, this guy. I will grant you the... Um, oh, boy. Ramagiri, was it? Ramagiri. Okay, I'm going to have to grant him that. So that he can... Uh, let's see, Ramagiri. There you go. You're going to get that, buddy. Enjoy. <clears throat> so that takes care of that little problem. Um, let's see. We got those claims we can oppress. We have claims on, like, everything inside of... Hoysala and um, Kaka, Kakatia or something. Domain too big. Yeah, I know. Can't really do anything about it now. As soon as I can make dukes, I don't think I actually have any Dutch. I might have some duchies, actually. Although... Okay, so this would be a kingdom. This would be Raj. Okay, so Raj probably is... That's probably three... That's probably duchies, I'm assuming. Uh, I have three of those, so I can make three people into dukes. Uh, my chancellor's a pretty nice guy, so let's grant him the... Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I really thought that that would be a possibility. I'm very confused. Uh, let's actually just start the game. It was paused all this time. Mystic Soldier's Paw. A Sufi sect of dervishes has arisen under the leadership of a certain Haji Bakhtash Wali, a mystic from Khor Khorasan. Striving for unity of being, Bakhtashis trained the soul through meditation and contemplation of the inner meaning of the Quran. The Bakhtashi order is warlike and especially popular among Sunni Muslim soldiers. The order has sworn to protect Islam and to combat infidels and polytheists of all kinds. Mystic soldiers, pa. So I guess my ruler doesn't really care about any of that. Choose a plot. We can revoke a bunch of stuff. That's my steward. We can kill my marshal because I am his heir, but all he has is one thing. You know, I don't really need more titles right now. That doesn't really sound like something I need. Convert to Buddhism. The great Sunni, or Sunni maybe it is, Caliph al-Nasir has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved king Gi of Jerusalem for the glory of Islam. Okay. I am now... Oh, I got two concubines now. Oh, so you can have more than one. Limited crown authority. So that means low. Um, but I can live with that because that's better than nothing, I guess. What's up, babe? You are now my concubine. Oh, wait. She's Jain or whatever. Okay. Gu Gujarat. Where, where is that anyway? Gujarat. Where is that? Where are you at? Uh, I've decided to institute the limited crown authority law in the Hoysala Kingdom. Since this is a crown law and you are a formal elector of Hoysala Kingdom, you may vote, so even though you're not my vassal yet. Ignore. Get out of here. So it's this dude is basically saying... I'm not, he's not my, uh, my liege, but I guess he used to be, or something like that. I can declare war on him, though, and destroy his ass, which sounds pretty good, but right now, I just don't really need, oh my god, that's like all of his land I have a claim on. Seems like a bit much to just try and take it all, doesn't it? Religion, holy sites, moral authority, uh, there's obviously a lot to figure out here. But in the end, I believe it's mostly, it works sort of the same. So, I have a lot of provinces, obviously, or counties, whatever you want to call it. I'm making the most money from, um... Parnaketa? Parnaketa, whatever. Get me some taxes. Uh, I can fabricate claims, improve diplomatic relations. Which I believe I will want to do over here. Let's just make sure that we have a good relationship with the king. And we have the most troops in probably Parnaketa as well. well however you pronounce it. Let's uh, have him train troops. Uh, we can build a spy network out there as well. If we want to kill that guy, we can. And we can improve religious relations. I want to do that wherever my... Um... Actually, maybe we should do that with one of these holy people. Uh, which would be... They all have a little flag. 
All under control of the, uh, the Hindu faith. Is there anyone that sort of likes me a bit already? This one, I guess. Where are you located? Um, Mah Mahakaleshwar. This is so much stuff going on right now. He's right there, so I will send my court um, chaplain to... Oh, I can't? Are you kidding me? Wait, that's the wrong thing. Improve religious relations right there, was it? I think it was. So we're dealing with that. Unpause the game again. And uh, I don't want to speed it up too much because I'm probably going to die if I do that. Let's see about the military. We got a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Man, not even that many for my vassals. Pretty sure I should be able to crush these dudes down here. Um, but I feel like I should pass on some of my titles to either kids or something like that. Wait, oh, that's me. Okay. This guy's my heir, but he likes me. You know, he might not try to kill me. Maybe I should kill him, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, let's see, where is he anyway? He is in... Where is he? Vengi. Oh, it's over there. So he's a duke over there. Our knowledge of cavalry and Badar increased to level 2. Okay. Military organization. So let's see. Technology is doing pretty good, actually. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. And we're also earning lots and lots of money, which is pretty sweet. Now, all I need to do is get married uh, to someone. So I'll pick her. Oh, wait, I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to lose a lot of prestige if I marry her. Probably because she's low-born. Uh, that's me. I want to marry my concubine, but I'm not sure why that would give me a giant impact on prestige. I guess because she is low-born. Let's talk to this dude and see, hey man, how about we arrange a marriage between me and like maybe one of his daughters or something. I'm sure, oh come on, really? No one? No one's interested? I don't, I don't know how that works in India if they just, uh-oh. There's already a faction that just popped up. It's for independence. My marshal is super angry at me. Because my domain is too big. Yeah, usually they don't really enjoy that very much. Oh boy, they are very angry. So what we should do is probably take some time out of our day to um, see who is like the... Um, let's see, this guy. He's got a lot of stuff, but he's already sort of a duke. I think, but then again, he holds the same title I do. And that's not me. I know that for sure. He doesn't like me very much. He wants a lot of different things. Oh, that's not me. Okay, yeah, I'm the red guy. I forgot about this. Okay. Um, so what I need to do is, for example, go to the, this city. And this guy needs to get the, uh, the entire county of... What was I looking at? Oh my god, these names are going to make it super confusing. Nuldurg. Okay, so I go over to the city... Talk to this guy. Grant him the title of... Nuldurg? Nuldurg, where are you? Oh, there you go. The correct cast. He does not have it. Oh, man. That's gonna make things really... So that's why I have too many things. It's because all the, the other people don't have the right... Cast. Except for this... This guy. Actually, he is... Um... He was over here, wasn't he? Oh my god, this is a confusing mess. So let's see, we are in Latsalura. Can I grant him that thing? That's kind of what I want to know. I can't. So I guess the correct cast is the one I'm in. So I would have to go to court. Oh man, is there a... Uh, let's see, I believe there is a... An option to check. Let's unpause the game. Uh, some more stuff. Crusades, all that, you know, doesn't really impact us right now. Um, find characters. You know, I, I would need people that are... Kshatriya. Like this guy. He's my spy master, I believe. Thana. Maybe not. Nope, he's not. Okay, I would still, I would like to invite him to my court. I doesn't want to. Oh my god, I'm gonna need to figure so many things out here. 
if only I had some kids to pass some titles on to, but I don't... Don't have kids. How about this guy? Let's say I find this dude. He is from the right thing. Oh, I can grant him a Raj. Okay. So he is the, the Lord, sort of, of Daman. Daman. Where is that? Where's your, where's your thing? Oh, over there. This guy is sort of a small fish. How about him? He's got, uh, Th Thena. Which is part of the Duchy of Konkana. So I can create that title. Yes. Gonna cost me some cash here, but it should be okay. And now if I give this guy that title, he's gonna be super happy about it. You know, he still won't like me because my domain is way too big, but I gave him a duchy. <clears throat> which should get rid of some of the um, responsibility here. So that's pretty sweet. He does like me a little bit better. His wife likes me a little bit, so that's good. Um, let's see, how about this place? Uh, we got this city. Part of the Th Vatapi. This Raj... Oh, man, I don't think I actually have that title, so that, you know, sucks for you. Uh, how about this guy, then? He has the temple. I think I'll make... i give him the Duchy of Vidarba. Grant. Vidarba. Do I... Do I not have it? I guess I might not actually have it. Oh, I don't have the cash for it. Okay, so let's see. The ones I do have are Nulam Bavadi. How am I... A, a, like, how do I hold the title to that? I guess that's because the kingdom split up in some way. I got this one. I mean, that's not much better. And I got Rakakonda. I have none of that. Oh, man. Is that a swastika? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful swastika. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. You know, totally not weird or anything. Um, so, let's see. Everybody's super pissed right now. I need to figure out a way to keep him happy. And I might have to start passing out just, um... Random counties to people. Let's make them count. If you know what I'm saying. Let's see, let's take a look at some of my crappier places. Uh, like... This one, Bhagavati. Making, like, no money off of that. And I can grant it to this guy. Of uh, Bhagavati, Bhagavati, where are you? Sagar, actually. Yeah, it's Sagar. There you go, enjoy. It's one last title to deal with. We got Vatsagoma. I could give that to this guy. Grant. Vatsa. Here we go. You got it. Oh man, I have so many titles to pass out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna end the video here, because it's getting pretty long. I'll just pass out some titles until my domain is like the right size. And then I'll continue in the next part. Um, doing more stuff. Look at these beautiful mountains, by the way. It was beautiful. So anyway, let, let me know what you think about it so far. I understand that probably a lot of people watching this are going to be like, what is the point of all this? It looks boring. Um, if you think so, let me know, please. I'm just sort of trying to figure out what people think of the game. Um, like I said, it's probably not going to be a full game or anything like that. It's just me checking out the Neo DLC and everything. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you think about it. Would you want me to do sort of a video on the um, on a game as Ireland, which is right over here? Uh, well, Ireland has been destroyed mostly by England, but it's, as you can see, it's all these little counties that are all split up. And you play as one of them, and you can unite all of Ireland, which is actually pretty fun. And it sort of makes sense to me, because I'm European, you know, I'm not from India. Or, you know, I'm not Muslim, or anything like that. Like, they have, over here, I believe, they're all Muslim. And all, you know, all the Middle East. Um, so, you know, those play styles don't really make sense to me all the time, because it's sort of weird, uh, to me. So yeah, let me know what you think about that, and I'll um, I'll talk to you guys later.